Welcome to the Reading Stack. I'm Hunter, and today we're going to be covering a wonderful book, um, a very moving and inspiring book called Five Years to Freedom by Colonel James N. Rowe. The book Five Years to Freedom is a medium-sized book it's, uh, at 465 pages. I have my copy right here, and it is a, a really great read. It was very uh, easy to get through a lot. Um, it, the book is about a special forces soldier that goes to Vietnam to advise South Vietnamese soldiers on how to fight the Viet Cong communist guerrillas. And uh, in the process of that advising, him and his fellow Green Berets get ambushed. He gets taken prisoner and held prisoner for over five years in just some awful, uh, just really discouraging conditions, uh, isolation, uh, hunger, sickness, a lot of sickness. Um, the story is how he managed to overcome and he managed to uh, get through it uh, and finally escape after five years of being in captivity. So that's kind of the synopsis is when you read it, it's this guy that uh, just really shocking the way the book starts out but then through it it's just so inspiring to see these different years go by and uh, how much he remembered of his experience of course it would be shocking but he wrote this in about the early 70s and uh, you know it just really covers a lot of uh, I guess if you're really interested in like psychology just the psychology of feeling alone and then uh, the North Vietnamese uh, are constantly trying to get him to confess crimes he committed. Um, they're trying to brainwash him, essentially, get him to do things he doesn't believe in, uh, get him to act cowardly. Um, and he, I, the, one of the great things about reading it is just how he uses his brain to survive and to get ahead of uh, his captors. Some quotes from the book that I, that I found really powerful, and this one is chock full of them. Great quotes. The first one begins with this. The approach of death makes a man want to have died for something, not to have squandered his life. On I think that's a really powerful uh, thought. I think we all have that, especially in moments where our mortality is, is in peril. The approach of death makes a man want to have died for something, not to have squandered his life. Another quote. It says, uh, and this was what the Viet Cong would say to him, is they would say the front, the National Liberation Front was what they were called. The front guarantees your well-being. And uh, you just see through their actions, they have much different things in mind, but they really push this kind of narrative that we're here to help you and you're not helping yourself um, by not cooperating with this. And then another quote, it says, uh, the purpose for separating us was quite evident. As the individual becomes a single animal fighting for survival, losing the ability to identify or associate with anything other than himself and basing his actions on his immediate needs. That's a real big theme in the book is they just tried to isolate him and the other prisoners. When they were together, they would work together, encourage each other, sing, uh, uh, use first aid on each other, just really uh, the survival odds were through the roof uh, when they were working together. But when they were separated, it got real bleak and uh, the most discouraging times. And they wanted to really break uh, Nick, who's the main character. Another one is there's a big spiritual focus in the book about he's at the, at wit, as wit's end, just really in a, in a suffering mode. And uh, different things emerge that help him get through it, philosophical things, things in faith. And he says this in these regards, For the first time in my life, the words of the 23rd Psalm were a source of strength and consolation. I began to believe, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I thought that was pretty powerful. To cap this off, should you read it? Um, you know, it depends. I would recommend this book to anyone. Uh, but... If you're just interested in any inspirational, motivating story, I'd say go for it. It, it is rock solid when it comes to that. Uh, looking at some reviews, issues people had uh, was a lot of the details that it goes into about the them, the prisoners getting dysentery, and uh, you know it's just 
really trying to expose people to the realities of what it's like to be a POW. It's not a lush, it's not a lush time um, with the enemy. It's uh, just being deprived all the time of just some of the most basic things we have uh, here in, I guess, the developed world. And uh, lessons learned, I, th I think, I think a lesson that was really powerful is to prepare. Uh, just to prepare for the worst in life because uh you know he was highly trained the most highly trained soldier being in special forces at the time and he said that the uh that he had been trained how to escape but his training consisted of one paragraph in a manual it wasn't too extensive so when it's his time uh when it's his attempt to escape he's really uh just kind of winging it you know just uh what what he thinks will work so i think just prepare you never know what you're going to face in life the next moment he definitely uh, from the story it's just real captivating he didn't think uh the next event would happen and then the second one is to press on you know if this guy could make it through all that and he could come out stronger it's it just shows that whatever we're going through in a 2020 a tough year and uh, whatever time in the future whatever time you're dealing with um Stories like that are just motivation. It's like, well, why should I give up when, when this happens? Uh, because I'm not going through something as big as that. I think that's just a big lesson that uh, if he can make it through some of that stuff, uh, you know, just basically torturous uh, conditions for five years, then uh, surely we can endure what we're going through. Well, uh, I hope you check this book out. Um, I'm going to leave an affiliate link if you want to buy the book through that. I hope you check out that book. I, I've told everybody about it. it. It's kind of the reason why I wanted to start uh, this YouTube channel is it just got me so fired up after reading it that I was just hoping to share it with some people uh, so they get some value out of it. It really bring it really brought me to tears at the end and it, every emotion, it just runs you through the gamut. And uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you check this out. Five Years to Freedom by James M. Rowe. Have a nice day.